it's Wednesday morning. It's half past, yeah, nearly half past nine. Um, I haven't had my breakfast yet. My hubby did score on for me this morning, bless him. So uh, I didn't have to rush around as much, but I'm still really tired. I went to bed far too late. I was very busy reading. Um, I'm reading one of Ruby's Jacqueline Wilson books and it is actually really good. It's not, I've been reading a lot of rude books lately, <laughs> but this one is obviously not rude because it's a children's book, but it's also very good. It's very gripping and it's very good and I'm enjoying it. So obviously you read more and I read till about one o'clock this morning when my alarm went off at quarter to seven, I knew I hadn't had enough sleep. So today's gonna be a long day. So we've woken up to the news that they have um, authorised a vaccination for the virus, which is really good news. At first, I didn't feel really happy about it. Not, not that I wasn't happy, but it didn't really make me feel any emotion because, well, I don't really know why. I think it's because I'm half asleep and I heard about it on the news and then I thought, that's really good. But then I think, but we've still got to get through Christmas and it's still gonna be a while till it's rolled out. So it's really, really good news. But the more I've thought about it, well, Jane, it's not good news. It's absolutely fantastic news, but it's took a while to sink in, I think, if that makes sense. Um, so that's bloody brilliant. So this time next year, everything pretty much hopefully should be back to normal, which is quite emotional and, I think I don't get excited because I feel it's too good to be true, if that makes sense. So I'm like, oh, so I'm feeling a bit weird. It's probably because I've not had enough sleep, but um, yeah, but that is fantastic news. It's fantastic news. They're going to roll it out as early as next week to the vulnerable and the elderly, which is just absolutely amazing. I just can't wait to hug people. I'm quite a touchy feely person. Um, and I just can't wait to hug people. I'm missing hugs so much. Really, really need to hug. So it, it it really is good news. And the more it's sinking in, the more I'm thinking, oh my God, there is light at the end of the tunnel. So that tunnel's been very long. Oh, it's just lovely. So anyway, so we need to get some breakfast. Ah, oh, the reality of real life. So I've washed Ruby's bed sheets and I need to get them dry. I have got a tumble dryer, but because they're fluffy sheets, when you tumble dry stuff, half your fluff ends up in the tumble dryer and I think it makes your sheets like thinner. So I'm debating whether to put them on the washing line, but I think it's going to rain. So I probably will end up tumble drying them. Good morning, Miss Winifred. Are you out of your bed? Wow, you're out of your bed. Are you hoping that I'm going to drop some breakfast cereal? Is that why you're out of your bed? <laughs> There's not many things that get when you're out of a bed, but food is definitely one of them. I've been talking to lovely Stella, who's also got a little pug, and I was telling her how Winnie has got a dark side, so most of the time Winnie is in a bed asleep, but there is moments where Winnie can be a pain in the neck. So I said to her, I'll try and show it today, because Winnie licks, and Winnie licks an awful lot. Um, so I'll try and catch her licking. She also barks at the telly an, also, an awful lot. And she also has a habit in the morning of being quite demanding because she hopes that you're gonna drop some breakfast cereal. So we'll try and catch Winnie's dark moments today. I know she looks very innocent and very cute, but you have got a naughty side, haven't you? Yes. <laughs> I think we've all got a naughty side, haven't we? So as I go in the breakfast cupboard, She's now thinking that I'm going to drop some breakfast cereal. Look, it's because Winnie, it's because like my husband and James and Ruby over the years have dropped breakfast cereal. So they've got into a bit of a habit that she thinks in the morning if she sits here, she'll get some, which I don't blame her. Do you think you can get some breakfast cereal? <laughs> I'm not having cereal. I'm having a cereal bar, which doesn't drop anything, I'm afraid. So, breakfast this morning, we've got um, a Muller Light yoghurt, an Alpine Light cereal bar, a very brown looking banana, and I'm going to have some grapes as well, so that's my little breakfast, my little friend's still with me. <sighs> when you get cold, you have to warm your bum on the heater. <laughs> Where's your bottom cold? Where's your bottom cold? <laughs> Still waiting for some breakfast cereal. <laughs> Come on, Miss Winifred, down. Come on, down. Come on. <laughs> it takes her a while to realise that I'm not dropping any breakfast cereal. <laughs> no, you've missed the breakfast this morning. That's it. Breakfast is over. It's done. 
so she'll she continues like this for a little while and eventually she realizes that there is no breakfast cereal this morning and then eventually she'll sit down and go to sleep and that's when she won't get back out of the bed till later but it takes a while to realize doesn't it there is no breakfast cereal the tumble dryer worn <laughs> so the sheets are in it's day two of my advent. So I forgot to show you what my husband did get in his toolbox yesterday. He got this little like tool holder. So I presume the rest of the advent calendar will be full of tools that will fit inside this little draper hold all thing. So that's cool. So we need to find number two. Can't obviously see number two straight away. Uh, so we'll find number two and then I'll show you what I've got in it. Oh, it's there. There's number two. Let's open it up and see. Winnie's still on a mission for food. Winifred, this is not food. This is MYX Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator. You can't eat it. So Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator, that's what we've got today. I would imagine that's really shimmery and nice. Do you want some on? Yeah. Liquid Illuminator. So I've just dabbed a tiny bit on my cheeks. You can see my wrinkles as well. <laughs> so I've dabbed a bit on my cheeks. So today we will illuminate. waiting for James to come out of the bathroom because she knows that James might drop a chocolate square. <laughs> lipstick of the day! So lipstick of the day Amy! I've decided to put on uh, the one I got yesterday which is an NYX, uh, where's the colour? Perfect Red. So this is the one I got in my advent calendar yesterday so I've got the highlighter on and the lipstick this is the most beautiful lipstick ever the red is just so red it's just so nice and it stayed on all day i was so impressed with it because i'd worn my mask at the post office and i'd eat my tea and everything by the time i went to bed it was still on it wasn't on as bright as this but it was still on it's really good so i'm very impressed with this I do you like this nyx lipstick it's really lovely so nyx nyx really good makeup right i'm in the truck with my husband Every time I come out with my husband, we never end up going where he says we're going to go. So we've now had to come to a car garage. We were here last week, so I've just got to sit and wait for him again. So we've got Skoda over there, Ford, 
think that's about as exciting as it gets, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, and Mazda's service in that corner. So we'll sit and wait, and eventually we will get to Tesco. So there's either a mouse in here, or I can make the seat squeak. Can you hear this? <laughs> So this is Winnie's angel side. So Winnie will pretty much stay like this till tea time. And then after tea, the dark side comes out. <laughs> Have you got a dark side? You're so good in the day, aren't you? Hey, I like to sleep all day. <laughs> I can't wait to show you later. You transform into little gremlin, don't you? And then we have just Florence, who's absolutely bonkers, who won't walk across the kitchen floor. So she wants to go outside for a wee, but she's got to work out how to get across the kitchen floor without walking on this bit. Do you want to go wee wee? Come on then. Come on then. Come on then. Come on. Come on, you want to go wee wee? <laughs> and the door makes no difference even if I shut the door it'll make no difference come on come on come on go wee wee come on come on come on come on move this box out of the way will that help there you are lot I've moved the box come on then come on then <laughs> I feel so sorry for her but there's just she could walk across any part of the floor and she just squeezes herself along the side of the cupboard some days she's worse than others some days it don't bother her and she'll just walk across the floor normally and then other days she's like this and it's really sad it's so silly and we've tried all sorts of things but I don't know just the floor she I think she slips on the floor a bit and it and it makes a jump so then she feels like she can't walk across it. Sometimes I pick her up and take her to the back door because I feel sorry for her but then you think when you've got fears you're supposed to face your fears aren't you? Go on you're nearly there. You've only got to go over there. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on Mark. Come on. Come on Florence. Bless her. I think I'm gonna have to pick her up, aren't I? Come on. Oh, bless her. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I picked her up. I felt sorry for her. There you go. Right, go and have a wee, Wally. Ah, oh, my little friends are helping me while I make my dinner. So for dinner today, ladies and gentlemen, I've got a little thin bagel, some chest Tesco chicken breast slices and a couple of tomatoes. So often join me dinner.
tumble dry fluff. I told you when you tumble dry things, you get so much fluff. It's slightly worrying that half your sheet is probably now in the tumble dryer. Ooh, Tesco food stuffing done. So it's just took me about an hour faffing about because obviously I'm now doing Weight Watchers. I have to think what I can have for my meals and stuff and work it all out. And it's like, it's took me ages. I'm really not motivated at all. <laughs> right, so now we need to carry on with some more jobs. <sighs> Right, these little beauties are on eBay now. So this is the little mouse I made the other day. Um, she's so cute. She's got a little pink bag, little gold chain on it, matching heart, matches her outfit. And then look at her necklace. Oh my God, it's so amazing. So she's on eBay at the minute. And then this one was on eBay last week and somebody won it and then they canceled the transaction, didn't pay. So this little cutie is also in my eBay shop. So I've been very busy making these two this last week. Aren't they adorable? I love them. My special ball balls in place. I'm not sure whether I should like nestle it in the branch or whether I should hang it on one of the side ones. I'm just worried because it was a lot of money and my mum paid for it. I'm just worried if I hang it on a side one that it might get knocked or broken. So not quite sure where to hang it. So cool. Look at it. Ooh, it's so unusual. Ah, I've put it near the top so you can see it. Uh, right, so I've got to post these now. So these are what I made last week and I sold these on my little eBay shop. They're little tweed trees and they've got lavender in. They smell absolutely beautiful and they shine so much. They're so pretty. So I've got to post these. Right, so we're now in the car. So we're just looking to the post office. I've got to post my little trees and then when it's home for coffee, then score on. Right, we're home. So nice cup of coffee and door number two. I don't think it'll be as big as yesterday's. Yesterday's was massive. Oh, no, it's not as big, I don't think. No, it's not. Oh, that's perfect. That's like a diet chocolate. That's perfect. I'm going to enjoy this with my coffee. <sighs> chocolate finished. Right, so I've had a parcel. So I treat myself to <gasps> this. It's a scarf, ladies wrapped it up really lovely. Oh, I'm so excited to see this. So it is a faux fur scarf um, and it's got sequins down it and then it's got fleece on the inside oh, and it's the softest fleece ever. I just thought it looked so cool. Oh, oh it's lovely. Now, whether I will ever wear this, I don't know, <laughs> but I love it. Even if I just wear it for walking the dogs in. Look at it, it's cool. So I'd probably wear it with my gray coat or something, but oh, it's really soft. Oh, it looks so glamorous. Oh, it's lovely. So I got it off um, like a selling group thing I'm on on Facebook and I saw this lady put it for sale and I was like, oh, really need that, that's so nice. So naughty little tree. I really didn't need another scarf. This is the face of guilt. <laughs> Right, we're in the car again, ladies and gentlemen. So we're off to school now to get little Ruby. Right, we're finally home. So my friends are here to help me make tea. Oh, you're so kind to help me. Aren't you, my darlings? <laughs> ah, right, here's my little tea. So for tea tonight, ladies and gentlemen, I've got some little uh, homemade burgers on a bed of salad with some little tomatoes, tiny bit of bacon and a tiny bit of burger sauce. Off to enjoy it. Mm. Winnie's dark side starting to come out. Winifred, no. no. Winnie, no. No. <laughs> the dark side of Winnie. Oh, hi. Hi. Are you waiting for your tea? <laughs> Look at her face. <laughs> if that face doesn't make you laugh, then nothing will. <laughs> oh, Winnie. Winnie Fred. That's it. You've just spat all over my arm. Thanks for that. Thanks. Where are you going? Okay, bye. Oh, are you going to see Ruby? Hi, Ruby. I want my tea. Do you want your tea? Do you want your tea? Is it dinner time? Is it dinner time? 
<laughs> oh, you're coming back there. Okay. Hi. Do you want your dinner? <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Is James going to give you your dinner? Get down. <laughs> Just go for a <laughs> full on hurdle. <laughs> he won't feed you. He won't feed you. I have to feed you. <laughs> no, 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 darling, no. <laughs> This is not, I don't know what it's doing. Stop, you crazy lady. Ooh, is your tea coming? Yay. You know where it is, isn't it? It's in this box. Oh, right. Lovely little shovel of tea. Right, are you excited? Ooh. Come on then. Wait a minute. I'm going to give you too much. So that's about right. There you go. Enjoy. Winnie's happiest moment eating, although I think mine is as well when I'm having my tea. <laughs> is that nice? Yeah. Oh, so Winnie's eating a tea. And <laughs> no, I was just thinking about eating Florence's tea. Good girl, resist the food. Well done. Next job of the day. So I've now got to make Ruby's bed, put all clean sheets and that on it. My little friend's still there. dark side of Winnie. Winnie and her annoying habit of licking the floor and she just doesn't stop. I was trying to explain to Stella. <laughs> Lovely Stella because she also owns a pug. I don't know if anybody else's pug does this um, but she just licks constantly. You can see this, look how wet the floor is. Look, <laughs> it's horrible. <laughs> I love her dearly, but she's definitely a bit faulty. Anybody else's pugs do this? And it just doesn't stop. It doesn't necessarily even have to be the rug. She just licks anything. Can you imagine how much fluff she must get in her mouth? And we've tried everything to stop her. You just don't stop, do you? Up and down, up and down. Yep. Winnie. 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 <laughs> I could actually film this for hours, but Stella, this is what she does. <laughs> I don't know if your pug looks like this as well. I told you she's like a different dog at night. And look. She's finally stopped. Winifred, please explain to everybody why you lick the floor. Look, you've made your tongue all, your tingle frothy. <laughs> Look, my floor doesn't taste that nice, darling, does it? Hey, look at your little frothy chin. No, <laughs> James hasn't got any food for you. <coughs> Winnie, you Yeah. 
You can hear, you can't hear it when Winnie's in here. <laughs> right, I hope you've enjoyed the day of Winnie's dark side. <laughs> we love her really. She's a bit of a monkey though, but we do love her. So Stella, see what I was saying about Winnie's dark side. I hope you've enjoyed this video. <laughs> oh dear, she's a handful. Anyway, so I hope I've cheered you up. I hope I've took your mind off things. Obviously, there's been lots of things pinging around the vaccine thing. People are going to take it. People aren't going to take it. They've heard good things, bad things. And I'm just like in the middle. I'm just like, we'll see. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. So at the minute, obviously, because we're not old, um, or working on the front line so it's not a decision we have to make yet anyway so um yeah so it is good news it is so anything to sort of get life back to normal anyway so i hope i've cheered you up today so if you do enjoy just a bit of our life then please subscribe to my channel and come and find me on instagram as mrs crazy bag lady huge shout out to my queenies big hugs for us all i really do miss hugging and please please just take care so i love you and leave you i will speak to you tomorrow oh don't forget my little ebay shop my avon shop the links are down below you can now order the sparkly lipsticks they are i can't remember how much they are but they are now available in my little avon shop if you spend 20 pound you get free uk delivery straight to your door so shopping from home you can't beat it so we'll speak to you tomorrow